over the last year, you have made LinkedIn, you know, really a, a priority in your presence on LinkedIn. Why now? And what advice uh, would you give to other B2B marketers or frankly, any customer facing professional that is wondering whether it's worth the time and investment to be on social? Yeah, well, I mean, in terms of why now, Eric, I think, you know, this whole global pandemic and COVID has really forced all of us to have to network and connect online. Uh, so we're just we're living in a virtual world and social is not going to go away. I also think that businesses have really started to go global. So using myself as an example, I have colleagues and clients really around the globe that I may never get the opportunity to meet in person. So virtual and digital is my only option. Uh, as a B2B marketer, it's been important to me because it's part of my job to walk the walk. So if I am going to advise my executives and my practitioners on their social presence, it's really important that I have one of my own uh, so that I can speak about it firsthand and leverage my experience in social to help them. And really my advice for any professional, not just marketers, if you wanna grow your career today, uh, you're going to be expected to have a point of view and a perspective on your area of expertise, whether that be from your colleagues and coworkers or your current employer, your clients, you know, your future employer. The first place that people go today is online to get an understanding of, of what you know and who you are. And so LinkedIn is a great platform to demonstrate what you know, who you know, but more importantly, today it's become a platform to demonstrate who you are. And I think that's really, really critical today because it's no longer a site that you post your resume on. It's really become a place to engage, to learn, and to network if it's, if it's used in the right way.